Check any preconceived notions you have at the door. Burnout Crash isn't about split-second decision-making at excessive speeds, nor does it demand pedal-to-the-metal car checking. However, hidden just below the surface of its simple structure lies a surprising level of strategy. Borrowing a page from Burnout's notorious crash mode, this downloadable forest of destruction adds just enough tweaks to the formula to make things interesting and addicting, even at the cost of a relatively slow pace and a slightly disorienting top-down perspective. Emergency! Paging Dr. B! The car carnage is spread across three modes, pile-up, road trip, and rush hour. While not entirely distinctive from one another apart from their duration and the way in which your score is compiled, your primary objective remains constant. Cause as much destruction as possible without letting motorists escape danger. They're escaping! Since the configuration of intersections varies greatly and placing yourself in the sweet spot for the largest pileup can be tricky, the vehicle you select plays a big role in your success. Larger vehicles have a greater blast radius, whereas nimble cars soar effortlessly using the aftertouch feature, which allows you to manipulate your pile of twisted metal after you crash. As long as you keep the carnage coming, you're able to reignite your blast, and if you do so long enough, you're rewarded with spectacular map-clearing effects. Spanning six locations, ranging from a cactus-lined desert to warm, sunny beaches, the 18 busy intersections offer plenty of ways to amplify your path of destruction. However, you won't be able to shake the feeling that luck plays a significant role in how well you do. And with multiple paths to take from your starting point, trial and error factors big into attaining the highest score possible. Be prepared to restart areas after failing to achieve a respectable score. While the game does support motion controls via Kinect, you're better off sticking to a controller, unless you feel the need to jump up and down to ignite the Crash Breaker. Tacked on Kinect support is far from the only sign that Crash is not your typical burnout game. But by focusing squarely on the type of play that the series is best known for, Crash successfully captured its spirit. You'll likely put it through its paces pretty quickly, but there are worse ways to spend 10 bucks.